Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Welcome to yet another Locker Gnome Daily Report. I am your host, Chris Perillo. We do hope you appreciate the information we're delivering you every day. Before we get started, I do want to let you know that we are sponsored by GoToAssist, a product by uh, Citrix, and essentially it, it will help you if you're in the IT industry, and I know many of you are, uh, manage servers and desktops remotely. Like, you don't have to be in front of those computers, you can control it from, well, wherever you happen to be right now. Head over to gotoassist.com, click the try it free button, and the, use the promo code Perillo. That's kind of important. Google will keep Android free and open for at least five years. This is according to the Wall Street Journal, Reuters, and Associated Press. This was a surprise to me because I thought Android was always going to be free and open. What happened to forever? Microsoft's social goes live. This is a social networking site that Microsoft had set up and I tried it a while back. Uh, it's, it's odd because what you do to join social here, I've got it pulled up, uh, is you connect your Facebook account. I, you could follow me there. I, I, I've got 42 people following me there. When I was on Q13, the, uh, local uh, news station, uh, I said that Google Plus is a graveyard. Now, the reason why I said that is not because I'm lacking engagement. I have great engagement on Google Plus. I even said that in the broadcast. But what Google did was they piled on all of the people who already had Google accounts. Many of the people who have Google Plus accounts don't even realize they have Google Plus accounts and they're not using those Google Plus accounts. I like Google Plus. I think it's going places. I think more people should be using Google Plus, but that still doesn't change the fact that Google put a whole bunch of bodies into the network without really explaining to them what they were doing. Pakistan blocks Twitter over blasphemous content. Facebook complies. Ooh, that's interesting. Really? I mean, is this really, is this, this is, this is where we are today, right? Someone doesn't like what you say, so they just cut you off. So check it out. Over the weekend, uh, building Windows 8 blog on msdn.com, they, uh, posted an update on the Windows 8 user interface, specifically the classic desktop mode. But here's the thing. It, it, it looks like Metro because Metro is flat and boxy, but now they've kind of eliminated all the uh, 3D-ish characteristics that you've been used to with Arrow on Vista and 7. In reading the comment thread, uh, it's a mixed bag. Some people love the update, other people not so much. Sprint now offering a hundred dollar credit when you trade in an iPhone from any other carrier? Hmm, guess I could use some extra cash. Would you guys do that? I mean, would you trade in your iPhone to go to Sprint? And speaking of wireless, Verizon confirms plans to raise Fios rates. Uh, so apparently this is to help offset content costs and increase profitability. Well, duh! Why else would they increase rates? iOS Nova emailed me this morning and it said that all of a sudden, YouTube has been denying and accepting monetization for videos at random and he uploads a news podcast once a week and he, he makes money and he says he's having a problem getting a hold of YouTube. Now, I've got a couple suggestions for you. One, you should be posting in the partner forums on uh, Google. Uh, you could also m m post a status update on Google Plus because there are people who may be able to better facilitate your uh, question. TV Accent said, uh, I thought Tron Uprising premiered in June. Did I miss it? Where'd you watch it, Chris? It was on. I, we, I just turned on the TV and says Tron Uprising starting in a half hour. I'm like, awesome. It was good. The Ryan Kent on YouTube asked, what's happening with Diana's food recipe videos? I think we'll probably slipstream them into the vlog if we do anything. Sunshine28091 asks, Chris and Diana, what are your favorite TV shows? And is there one you both like and watch together? I don't know if we watch a lot of shows together. Sometimes we'll just turn on the TV and see what's on and then just end up getting sucked into something. On LockerGnome.net, I am Tech Crazy asks, how much time do you spend on cable management? You've, you've seen the back of my desk. It is a mess of cables. That's my management is I put a desk in front of it. California, the username California, not the entire state, asks, uh, hey, all of my iOS apps are crashing. What's up? Um, so try closing out the apps. Try uh, rebooting, and if that if none of that works, 
uh, you, you might uninstall the apps. If you're full up on space, that may also be causing some crashing. Last Gang asks, why do antivirus always have to uninstall other antivirus? That's because they're both usually trying to do the same thing. Thanks everybody. I appreciate the questions, the comments, the likes, the shares, whatever you do to get the word out about our community. Uh, again, I gotta thank uh, GoToAssist for sponsoring this uh, broadcast, this video, this podcast, whatever you wanna call it. For the next couple of weeks, we're doing a series of giveaways uh, in conjunction with Modus and ThinkGeek. Uh, today, if you head over to facebook.com slash Modus and you click the Geek Stakes tab, one of you is going to get Sugru Putty and then Inanimate stickers. I thought these two things, fun and functional, actually fun and functional, would be a good, this is all going to be leading up to Geek Pride Day. Uh, again, for the next two weeks, one of you guys, or I guess, Many of you guys and gals could get some free stuff. Facebook.com slash Modus for more information. Now go watch our latest vlog. We'll see you later. As you know, our blockade is perfectly legal.